And the Houston Rockets point guard Chris Paul returns to Staples Center to play his former team, the Los Angeles Clippers. He played six seasons with Los Angeles before he was traded to Houston, so he is well known to these fans. The LA Clippers have a four game winning streak behind them which brings them up to a 500 season. They have Blake Griffin back but they lost the Andre Jordan to a sprained ankle so they still have a roster with a lot of injury. The Rockets will be missing some key players as well including James Harden and Nene Hilario. Houston has won their last three games so these are two teams that want to continue their streak. To say this game between the Houston Rockets and Los Angeles Clippers got heated its understatement. The emotions exploded at the end of the fourth quarter when it was clear Los Angeles was going to win this game. Blake Griffin and Trevor Ariza got into a verbal altercation and were both ejected, but not before Griffin allegedly hit Rockets coach Mike D'Antoni. The league is investigating the incident as well as the altercation when several Rockets players, led by former Clipper Chris Paul, tried bursting into the Los Angeles locker room. What made the wing special for the LA Clippers was that Griffin was the only starter in the game. He added 29 points, 10 rebounds, and 6 assists. But it was Lou Williams who led all scoring with 31 points. He also had 9 assists. Chris Paul and Eric Gordon led scoring for Houston with 19 points each. The Clippers have now won 5 in a row for the first time this season. On behalf of myself and my teammates, we want to say thank you for coming out. Enjoy the game. You mean after hitting it? <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. But, you know, it happens. I mean, they, they played hard. They give them credit. You know, they're, they're fighting for a playoff spot. So, you know, they did what they were supposed to do. We didn't. Um, I don't know. You know, they got Lou Will. You know what I mean? Lou Will is the guy. You know what I mean? That's the go-to guy, the guy that they should play through and stuff like that. He's having a great year, and he's tough. He's tough, man. But uh, they, they play the right way. They share the ball. They move the ball. And uh, it's, it's a good team over there. It's a good win. I think we played with a great pace for four quarters. Um, we were very assertive on the offensive end. We was able to able to get a bunch of paint points, and then they opened it up from the three-point line as well. So it was just a good night for us offensively. For me, for me, it was it was it was different than I would probably say Trez and Sam. That was the second time I was traded in three, four months. You know, and I'm a very productive basketball player. You know, so a lot of productive basketball players usually don't get traded that much, and especially a short period of time. You know, so I took it I took it very personal. You know, obviously that's where Sam and Trez uh, begin their careers, but. You know, Houston came and got me out of a situation where we weren't winning much and, and with the Lakers and, you know, to have an opportunity to make a deep playoff run and then quite work that way and then, you know, get traded again, you know. And, you know, that can kind of do something to somebody. But I don't come, I don't come into these games with chips on my shoulder. I, I'm not one of those guys that can kind of play with that type of energy. Where were we supposed to be? We were in our locker room. So, um, whatever happens over there, I mean, we can't control what anybody else does. We control what we did. We were in our locker room. Seats. You should ask. You, you asked them earlier this morning in an interview. I, I thought you know they should they should welcome him uh, back with, with a warm reception. And he gave gave a lot to this team for six years. Um, you know, and we, we we had a lot of great moments. We had some bad moments. We had a lot of great moments. Ultimately, didn't have success in terms of, of the ultimate success. But we I think built a built a foundation for this franchise, and um, you know I think the, the fan base here appreciates him for that. From Staples Center in Los Angeles, California, this is Claudia Gestro for the LA Post Examiner.